Today is an exciting day. It's finally time to test to see if the fire truck will put out a little fire. Now this is going to be just a test to kind of get an idea of how much this truck can handle. I've got a very controlled setup here. I am putting uh, some sticks and I'll have some paper uh, to start this little tiny fire inside this metal fire pit. I'm going to have the fire pit covered with the cover so nothing flies out. And then we're going to be shooting water with the fire truck through the grate. Uh, on the cover. As I showed you guys in my last video with the Traxxas TRX4, I do have a different nozzle on the ladder, so the water stream is going to be much tighter and much more powerful. Hopefully, it will be able to take out the fire pretty quickly. I'm also not going to be driving the truck up the walkway here because I know the truck already drives. This is a test of how much uh, the truck can handle with putting out a fire, and of course, in the very near future, the goal is going to be to put out a small simulated house fire. So this is kind of just a test. This is going to be the very first test of the RC fire trucks fire suppression capabilities. I also want to point out not to try this at home. I have got a very controlled sit situation right now. There is no wind. I do have a hose right behind me in case anything were to go wrong. Of course it shouldn't. And uh, I've also got a very nice secure pit that I'm going to be making this in. I'm also surrounded by bricks on this patio so uh, nothing will be flying out into the grass. So of course don't try this at home and I hope you guys enjoy this little demo. Let's try it out. That was a really small fire guys, but this truck put it out no problem. As I anticipated, the stream as you guys saw is much tighter. This is much powerful, uh, much more powerful stream. This will easily be able to put out a much larger fire. Um, really the only thing that needed to be adjusted was the angle of the ladder. Uh, I noted that I noticed that the water was not quite hitting the fire uh, as much as I wanted it to. So I just needed to adjust the ladder a little bit. No big deal, it did very well. What I want to do now is just have a little bit of fun with the fire truck and I'm actually going to go up to the garden and water some seeds that have just been planted. Uh, and this is also going to show you guys how far the water stream can actually go. I've actually measured the stream of water 
off camera and it actually reaches over six feet far from the truck. Now I will admit, I was not expecting to end up in the garden by the end of today's video, but I will tell you what, running water through this fire truck was so fun, I am so excited to use this truck more often. The battery life is perfect, it still has plenty of battery, it would still keep pumping had I not run out of water in the one liter tank, but this truck did a great job. It, it pretty evenly watered the plants over here, you can see how moist. The dirt is around the corn. This is corn, by the way. No doubt will this truck be able to put out a small house fire that I will be making in the future. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, I'm really impressed with how well this truck handled today and how much water it was able to pump out and on one battery charge. It could easily do much more. Um, the stream is much more powerful, as you guys saw. It easily put out two small fires and watered the garden. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please leave a like and please subscribe. Thanks everyone for watching, and I'll see you guys next time on the RC Genius.